You're watching UNICEF Television. Every last drop of fresh water is precious in the little village of Dara in the Central Asian Republic of Tajikistan. So precious that it's a major preoccupation for its 1,700 inhabitants. Dara's major source of water is the river, a river so dirty and so saline that you can't drink it, irrigate or get anything clean with it. It's fit only for livestock. And it's the same story for all the villages in this area, a total of 7,000 people. Yet Dara is a mere 10 minute drive from the centre of the Tajik capital Dushanbe where there's no water shortage at all. They keep getting promises of water, but they've no idea if it'll ever come. There's no fresh water near our village, and the government won't allow us to get water from Duchamp Bay because it has nine-storey apartments, and the water doesn't get to the top floor. Fresh water became an issue only after the Soviet Union collapsed and along with it, the area's canals. The result was a surge in serious illnesses striking particularly at women and children, like three-month-old Amina, who's got severe diarrhea. A lack of safe water is the cause of diseases that include diarrhea, typhoid fever, malaria and anemia. And these are just some of the diseases we deal with because of the lack of water. The villagers do what they can to safeguard their children, but even the school has no water tank and so nowhere to wash, nothing to drink. School children have to bring boiled water in plastic bottles. There are 245 children and 14 teachers and the toilet doesn't meet today's standards. For those who can afford it, the arrival of Kubanali is always a welcome moment. The safest water comes in a tanker, but at a cost. A tank that'll last a family about two weeks costs around $12, but in a village long haunted by poverty and unemployment, that's out of reach of many. People with money can afford to buy water and fill their tanks. But people without money, without tanks, can't afford the water anyway. This rainwater we use for everything, for drinking, for making meals, for washing clothes, for everything. Sanabar lives in an enclave of four families who can't afford to buy tank water. The upper tank we use for drinking, and this one we use for animals. Look at how many bugs there are in the water. There are a lot of things brought on by this water shortage, such as diarrhea, stomach worms, and really bad skin rashes on their faces. Safe drinking water is particularly important for children because they are less developed, they need the safe drinking water to grow up and their health and their education, quality education, re really requires safe drinking water within easy access. The people of Dara have been promised a clean water supply sometime soon, but it's never arrived. And until it does, Sanabar and her children will continue to suffer the sort of diseases so easily avoided when people have access to one of life's basic necessities. Good, clean, life-giving water. For UNICEF Television, this is Peter George in Tajikistan. Unite for children.